What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. I'm actually kind of in love with this game. Uh, full notice, if you want to see a lot of this game, you should come on over my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash splattercatgaming. I've got a feeling I'm going to be streaming this a lot over the next year or so as it updates and whatever. I've actually really, really, really fallen head over heels on this one. Uh, so today, what I thought we would do today is in the last episode we kind of introduced you to the game and we got you introduced to the setting and we got you started out sort of looking at some of the basics. I thought that it'd be boring if I was to continue the tutorial from there. You've got a rough idea of how things are going to function. And so today in the second episode, I sort of wanted to dive straight on into disassembling like an actual ship. So we're a class 2 salvager right now. And I figured, no, I don't want that one right there. I think I'll go after what has the most value on it. Yeah, there we go. We can go to this uh, little mackerel right here. This one's got a couple of interesting things going on, especially with the nacelles. We'll see how much money we can make off this thing. Uh, so there it is. We've begun our shift. Uh, I didn't buy any upgrades or anything. I probably should have, but we'll make it work for right now. Uh, let's dive straight on into this construction because, honestly, this game is a ton of fun. Like, this game is really, really, really good. I'm super happy with it. Uh, we owe a lot of credits. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you how to use the tethers and everything else today. I'm going to try and slowly go through all the tools. Uh, these nacelles right here are not exposed. Oh, they are actually. They're outwardly mounted. Okay, so that's easy. Uh, I was thinking we were going to have to uh, get on in here. But I can do this right there. Boom. That nacelle is free. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. This thing's going to be going to the barge right here for our salvage. So... I'm going to jump down to the bottom of it, and there's a tether, and we're just going to tether that straight down to the center of the barge. So away she goes. We should make a good 100k off that thing right there. It should be worth a big old filthy grip of cash. Downwards, and out it goes. Let's go get the other nacelle while we wait. You want to work quickly in this game, because in the top right corner, you're going to find that you've got a time limit. And that's how much time you have to actually work on the ship for the day. Every single day, you've got to pay rent on all of the tools and all of the gear and all of the stuff you've been using to do your job. And so, like, if you're not earning at least, like, 500000 per 15 minutes, uh, you're really kind of wasting your time. And you're going to get super far behind and you're never going to pay off your debt. And all kinds of bad things are going to happen and the IRS is going to steal your children. Just like you thought. Okay. So we've got a lot of the outwardly mounted stuff taken off. Let's go ahead and rip off this guy right here too. And we'll just kind of like send that down and away uh, to the barge. These aren't worth like a huge amount of money, but they are worth something. Uh, we'll go ahead and retract that guy back in right there. Fire him off. Uh, there's a few more antennas we want to rip off of this thing that can be repurposed for other ships. Uh, there's the third antenna right there. I would like to... Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll just send it. There we go. You press F to launch stuff like that right there. All right. So we've got all the salvage done. All the exterior salvage anyways. Uh, it's going to be tempting to want to go after that thruster right there. Don't do it. So this thing is actually still fully pressurized. Uh, this thing has atmosphere inside of it, and we need to take care of that. And so let's go ahead and cycle the airlock. we got to get indoors, and we're going to take a look at some of the indoor functioning systems in order to get this thing disassembled at a good rate. Uh, there's another airlock console right there. Bim, bam, bow. It's gone. Uh, that's going to let us on into the ship. Be aware that you are in oxygen right now. Okay? So, like, do not make any perforations in the hull of the ship. Bad things will happen. If you're wondering how you get all of the air out of the ship, it's this little device right here, this atmospheric regulator. You click that right there, it's going to suck all the oxygen out of the ship, which is going to leave us wide open to start salvaging the rest of this. What I like to do is I like to pop the floors and the ceiling off first. Uh, that's the way that I personally get things moving the fastest. So, let's do that. Uh, these four little mounts right here should put you in a really, really glorious position to just have the floors loose. So there we go. Floors are gone. You can see them falling now into zero G. Perfect. Uh, the other thing you want to look at is your work orders. Uh, so this is really all that's important if you're trying to get upgrades. Uh, LTs are going to be your links tokens. You need those in order to buy upgrades and get better tools and eventually accomplish your financial freedom. So definitely pay attention to those as time goes along. Uh, I'm also going to pop the roof off, I think. Is that seriously? It was only held in with two brackets? That surprises me. All right. Well... We got cutting points, so let's get to it. You can call me Bill the Butcher because I'm cutting. 
Uh, we need to get rid of this guy right here. Me thinkies. And then we also need to get rid of that guy right there. I've basically memorized the layout of this ship. So, like, don't panic if you're not recognizing any of this stuff. It's not that big of a deal. You'll get it with time. Uh, there's a few more things in there that we need to take care of. But let's go ahead and we'll just kind of lift the roof off right here with our thrusters. Perfect. And so we've actually managed to get our first piece free. Uh, this is going to go to the processor right here because it's made out of solid nanocarbon so it can be repurposed. Uh, so we want to put a tether on there and we'll just suck that on into the processor. Uh, if we wanted to get really creative about this, we could tether that on right there and hopefully this will flip out. Come on. Come on. Pull on out. There you go. There you go. That's what I like to see. And away she goes. Uh, that's going to crash into the wall, though. That's not good. Oh, no. You need to go over there. 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 Ooh, go over there. Okay. Do not go into the furnace. You definitely do not go into the furnace. That'll get me into all kinds of trouble. And as you can see, we're processing our first bit of nanocarbon right there. We got about four tethers left. My suggestion would be that we pop out the floors like we said we were going to. Uh, we've only got a little bit of oxygen left, too. Uh, so we'll want to get this done quickly, really. Uh, that looks like it's actually still affixed. Yeah, in fact, it is. There we go. Uh, I know how to get it unaffixed. So perfect. There we go. That should get the floor loose. There we go. Come on. Come on. I've got 60 seconds of oxygen left, so I'd really like to get this done before we go back. I'm trying to be as I'm trying to be as effective as possible right now. We'll go ahead and rope that on into there. It's going to take it a minute to drag on in anyways. Uh, if you need to get some more oxygen, you come back up here to the terminal. They're going to warn you. They give you lots of ample warnings about like what you're going to need to do in order to get this done. Uh, there goes a little bit more nanocarbon. Pretty proud of that. Very nice. Uh, we're almost done with some of our work orders. The power cell and the reactor are going to be two things that really... Let me get some more tethers here, too. We just added $17,000 to our debt because we're crazy people like that. Uh, this thing's going to start to come apart pretty quickly. I don't know if the walls are out yet. I don't think they are. Uh, but we need to start thinking about pulling the reactor, too, which is pretty easy. Uh, the reactor is scary because the reactor can result in you dying. Okay, so... Be careful, we're about to set off a nuclear explosion if we do this wrong. But, I have faith that we're going to do this right, so we want to pop this door off right here, if we can. Oh, the door didn't pop out clean. That feels bad. Okay, don't much like that. Uh, wish it had come out a little cleaner, but that's okay. We're going to pop the floor out right here, so it'll be okay. Uh, we will get our laser cutter. Let's get all these load-bearing mounts gone. Uh, we're going to need the floor to come out anyways in order to get the reactor, so we might as well get the work done now. Uh, there we go. That should be free. Uh, floor's out. Let's go ahead and slide it carefully on down this way. And we need this to go to the processor, although we need to not get hit in the face with it. So let me move real fast before I inevitably trounce myself in the face. All right, so here's the fun part. Uh, let me grab this guy and get it out of the way so that accidents don't happen. This also goes to the processor, uh, so we can put the salvage in there. Perfect. Done. Uh, now's the fun part. So, we need this reactor to come out, and we need it to come out clean. So we're going to put a tether right there, and then we're going to put that on the barge as straight of a line as possible. And then we're pulling back. And so you got about 30 seconds to get that thing into the barge. If you fail to do so, it will light off a nuclear explosion. Uh, that's one of the most valuable pieces on the entire mackerel ship is that right there. Uh, so you definitely want to pull that every time you disassemble a mackerel. Uh, this right here should be free floating on this model of mackerel. So we should be able to pull off this thruster cap pretty easily. Uh, this is going to go to the processor once again. Uh, we do have some drift going on our ship right now, which is a little concerning. I'd like to say that that makes me a happy camper, but actually our ship drifting is really, really bad. I don't know why it's drifting, but it's drifting. Um, you can take it if you've got like hard points like the front, 
uh, still tethered and anchored to the rest of the fuselage. You can actually put tethers in and kind of pull it back into place. I don't really see the point, though. It's kind of a whole bunch of effort for very, very little payoff. Uh, we're going to pull out the thruster now. Be careful with this. This is another one of those fragile pieces that will get you into trouble. Uh, this goes to the barge, and so we can pretty much just give her a little push rooney right there. Perfect. And that's going to be another grip of cash that they're going to put into our account. Uh, that's another big piece that you kind of want to get off. Uh, I would suggest checking this little bay right here. Sometimes there's free-floating data drives or, like, keys to other parts of the ship inside of there. Not always, but sometimes. You're not going to go in there, are you? You're going to make this difficult. Go. All right. So that's in there. The power cell now. You're probably wondering where that's at. Uh, the power cell is usually in the wall right here next to the airlock. It's on either side of the wall next to the airlock, uh, so be careful with it. This guy right here can go into the processor. Hopefully that tether doesn't break. We're looking good, though, I think. Uh, we can pull off all these seats. The seats are not worth a huge amount. The seats are worth about 12k a piece. It's only worth it if you can get all of them in, like, a timely manner. Um, it's not really worth it to use tethers to get these all down to the barge, so I wouldn't do it. Uh, the tethers are going to end up costing you there. Like, you're probably going to lose the value of, like, an entire chair just on tethers if you try to, like, daisy chain them on out of there. I usually just kind of go through and pull them myself. Uh, also to be interested in are the med kits that are on the walls right here. If you end up injuring yourself on accident, have no fear. The med kits will put you back up to full health and save you a bunch of money so that you don't have to end your day or go back to base to heal. So nice little things to have. And we'll throw that down on in there, and it looks like we've got all the seats cleared now. Uh, other things, we definitely want this soft crate. These are worth like 40k a piece, so we definitely want to throw those on the barge if there's multiples of them for sure. It looks like there's only the one. I'm not going to pull off the power conduit just yet because I'm not crazy confident that that's going to work out well. Uh, we'll pull off the conduits later, but what we can do is we can pull these seats right here while we got a couple of minutes left in our shift. Nope, don't want the console just yet. There we go. We will get this seat on out. Every single object that you pull out for the barge is going to have HP. Uh, it's those little squares you see. Um, if you damage it, it's worth less money, I think. Or it can have, like, side effects, like it'll shoot lightning everywhere. Yeah, I know. I'll get the O2 in a minute. I'm trying to, trying to finish off this salvage here. I'd like to get the cockpit done before we take the rest of the day off. Our shift is almost up. But if I can get, like, most of the important stuff, that means I can just start cutting everything tomorrow. And we can get everything cut off. And if I can get everything cut off, uh, we can basically daisy chain it all into the processor at the end of the day. Uh, we only got a couple of seconds of air left, so... Let's head back to the barge. Uh, by the time we refill our oxygen, our shift is basically going to be over anyways. So let's not stress about it. Let's just kind of take the rest of the day. Uh, we will reconjoin this tomorrow. Uh, we've made like a really, really good amount of work. We've got like almost half of our work order done on the first day. You have as much time as you need to work on this. Just be aware that if you're not pulling in 500k a day, you're losing money. Uh, so let's see how we did. So, we made 1.5 million credits. That's really, really good. Uh, that means that we are three times where we need to be. And the reason for that is this. You will see at the end of the day, they're going to give you a printout of all the things you're renting from the Lynx company uh, right here. And that's why I said you got to make 500k a day, otherwise you're in the red. Uh, so we're in the black by like a million credits right now, though, so that's really, really good. Uh, we probably want to upgrade some equipment. My suggestion for first upgrades, having played the game a lot is going to be oxygen. Uh, increase your O2 capacity. It'll allow you to more effectively work the entire day. Uh, the other thing that I would recommend is to get the stinger range right there so that you can shoot your laser a little bit further. I would get the heat capacity upgrade because there's certain bulkheads you're going to be able to get through if you have that upgrade that you wouldn't be able to get through otherwise. And then I would also take the thruster upgrade that lets you go a little bit faster. Uh, we're basically out of Lynx tokens at that point, so it's time for us to get back to work there, Cutter. So let's continue.
All right. So having dove back on in, today should be a productive day. It really sincerely should be. I think we should be able to get this mostly broken down by the end of the day. Uh, if we don't, it's just because I'm taking my time and I'm explaining things to you and I'm not really working at maximum efficiency right now like I normally would be. Uh, it looks like we have a data drive right there on the floor. That is a collectible. So there you go. We can download that. Here is the machine. The machine is gone. Do you understand? Uh, no. No, I don't think you do. Here is man, all mankind, spreading out, spreading, 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 like roots of a tree through endless stars. And there is the machine. The machine is going to stop the roots, the growth. The machine will unify us as minds in one body, a body that cannot age or grow or die. We will experience eternity in an instant and last until the end of the universe. Do you understand? The machine is what we become. I know this because I am a messenger. An angel. Did you know that? Yes. Angels are messengers, so I must be an angel. An angel for the machine that is God. And that is what I am. I am here to join you to the machine. Yeah, so there's all kinds of creepy stuff you find on some of these ships. I'm just letting you know to kind of brace yourself. Uh, this is definitely a dystopian universe, sort of in the realm of Viscera cleanup detail, where, like, as you get further on in, you are going to become very, very aware that things in this universe are kind of, like, not okay, and that all things considered, your job is not that bad compared to the stuff that's happening to everybody else in the universe. Uh, I thought this job sucked, detaching nuclear reactors and almost dying every single day, until I realized what everybody else in the galaxy was getting up to, uh, which is basically barely surviving. We'll go ahead and pull that right there. Uh, we do have a seal. I think that we're going to have to get rid of in order to get through here. Uh, I think the seal is right there. There we go. And we know there's no fuel line on this thing because it hasn't exploded. Uh, that's how you know. Uh, later on, you won't be able to pull the thruster or do any of this fun stuff that I'm doing right now uh, without effectively exploding yourself and killing yourself. That's just a big warning. Uh, later on, we're going to have to disassemble the fuel lines and a few other things before we go further into the game. And that's just like hard facts. Uh, this thing should be detached now, as far as I know, and I'm pretty sure the whole thing goes in the processor, as I recall with the mackerel. Uh, so we should be able to go, and I'm going to say to pull from right here, and take that over to there. And that should be the back end of the ship. Uh, I believe there is some scaffolding and whatnot inside. Oh no, okay, so we got fuel tanks exposed. Uh, I think some of that stuff right there is supposed to go in the furnace, but frankly, I'm too lazy to cut it all loose, and I don't care. Uh, the amount of money you're going to make by cutting that loose is like nothing, so don't bother. Alright, let's get this guy disassembled. Uh, this fuel tank goes to the barge. And you go to the processor. There we go. So the entire back end of the ship should be going in there right now. There we go. Nice. So basically like 200, 2,000 kilograms of nanocarbon right there. Not bad. This should also give us access to the crawl space right here. No, it didn't because of the airlock. Feels bad. Okay. Well, let's rip off the paneling first. Uh, we can rip off all this. Ooh, let's not do that though. Let's not use the, the hazardous death laser. Uh, near the fuel tank. That's a mistake that you will greatly regret, I promise. Uh, accidentally lasering a fuel tank? A really, really great way to kill yourself. Uh, fantastic method by which to leave this mortal coil. Uh, we can tear off the lamps in here and whatnot, but they're not really worth that much money, so like, I don't really do it. Uh, if other people want to be super anal about it and get it done, I'm not going to make fun of them. But... 
It's not really for me. Oh, there's our power cell, making me look stupid. Uh, the power cell is not on the side with the airlock, so I guess I was wrong in this case. Normally it's in the walls near the airlock, though. This time it was in the wall on the other side, which I've never seen before, uh, even though I've played for like five or six hours. So, you know, uh, that was a first for me as well. Frankly, I didn't know that it could even spawn right there. But, that's the power cell, so the work order is complete. We can freely get rid of this craft whenever we want to now. Uh, that's a coolant tank right there, and it's full of nitrogen. Don't shoot it. Unless you really, really, really like being a fatality. Uh, I don't know if these walls are all free. But I sincerely hope that they are. We're going to have to go back for oxygen pretty shortly. I don't know if I can get this out without detonating it on accident. So here is what I'm going to try to do. We're going to push that wall out right there. And I know that that panel is free. So I'm thinking we sort of attach that where we can. Put that over there. Oh, it's taking the entire side of the ship with it. Okay. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with that. That's that's good by me. I don't care. Um, if it wants to pull that entire chunk on in there, we don't really have much else to do on this side anyways. Uh, what I would like to do, though... take that panel with you, would you? And then maybe once that rotates... I don't know if this angle is going to be on. Uh, this angle might be off. But I'm going to try because i got to go get oxygen anyways. So if we can daisy chain half this process to just like pull all that in there, uh, that would be perfection. And in fact... Oh, no, dude. The daisy chain didn't work. It wasn't being pulled fast enough. It didn't have enough force. Okay, that's fine. I can live with it. We still got plenty of time left in the day. I think we can finish the ship today if I really, really hustle. Oxygen reserves are critical. I know. Tethers, Nova fuel for the thrusters. There we go. All right, we got to upgrade our, te our tether amount, too, is going to be important. Uh, if we want these all to go together, uh, we're going to need to tether these guys first. So, like, I would say go there to there. And then we got to move fast here. There to there. And then there to there. Like, we got to move quick, though, because the tethers only last for one minute. Uh, tether's going to break. Okay. We're going to have to... The daisy chain's not going to work. We're going to have to do it separately. It's got its own suction once you get it close enough to the processor anyways, but it's a waste of time. Uh, we've got the coolant tank right here. we got to pull this thing without detonating it. There we go. It is pulled. Throw the coolant tank down there. There should be another one on the other side, too, I think. I don't know that for a 100% fact, but I'm pretty sure there's one on the other side. Uh, I don't know why I went all the way around. I probably shouldn't have. We have a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to load into the furnace at the end of all this. Uh, I still just want to get the nanocarbon paneling off, though. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to melt this wall right here. Hopefully there's nothing too nasty on the other side of it. Would be my, my sincerest hope. Yeah, there's a coolant thing right there. Okay. That's kind of what I was concerned about. That's why you sort of want to be careful about what walls you decide to weld your way through. Because if that laser clips through for like an eighth of a second... You may freeze yourself to death in a... Ow. I wasn't paying attention to the... Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the old heat on my laser cutter. Lit myself on fire. What is this still attached by? There it is. I was going to say, this is still attached by something, and it's right underneath my booty hole. There we go. Now the wall's coming loose. Just a few more panelings, and we should be out of here. I'm going to try to balance this out to keep it reasonably flat. There we go. 
Uh, I don't know if this is loose. Is this loose right here? This should definitely. Hey, there's the keys to the ship. Uh, the keys to the ship are nice. You're gonna need them on later models, uh, because the later models are gonna have issues, and those issues are going to be that like the fuel line will be locked into the thruster, and if you don't have that utility key. Good luck getting the thruster out without exploding yourself. Just a, just a, just a little word of advice from your buddy Cutter Splat, alright? Just a, a little bit of a warning. Uh, we'll pull that off over there. We only have like one more bulkhead that we gotta mess around with. Most of this stuff is destined for the furnace. Um... I don't have a cutter that's going to be strong enough to get this loose. And so we may have to sacrifice the airlock. Uh, it may have to happen that way. Throw that on in there while we got a couple minutes left. That still didn't make it inside the processor. And I really do need you to get inside the processor, please. Go inside the processor, you animal. Get in there. Making my life very, very difficult, and I don't appreciate it. Uh, these panelings right here... ...on the bottom... ...I believe are connected from right there. I don't know if this is free-floating yet. It looks like it's not. It's still affixed. Uh, so there's gonna be another cut point. That we gotta get after here. Probably accessible from the inside. Uh, there's gonna be like a seam. There it is. Nope, that's not the seam. I can't get the angle on it. Trust me, there's like a little there's like a little tiny rubber seam here, I promise. Was that it right there? Hell if I know. Oof. Okay, that didn't work. I would like this whole nose piece to come off if I could get it, though. Uh, it would please me. I think we probably got a knockout. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like there's a, a rigging under the floor, possibly. This is all going to the furnace anyways. So I don't think it matters too much if we melt it. There's no seam right there. This is all going to the processor, huh? I can't for the life of you. Uh, that's pushing the whole ship. It's still attached somewhere. It's still got a... Probably up underneath would be my guess, but I just can't seem to sneak a laser up underneath there to get that last seam. One second, amigo. I can do this. Just one second. That little seam right there. Warning. Your oxygen reserves are I know that's what I was looking for. Uh, is it free? I'll be honest, I don't think it is. Man, I just take it all to the furnace, except that... Eh, oh well. We'll call it a day. Uh, we 
basically got it tore down. There's not a whole lot left right there, and most of it that is left is due for the furnace. Uh, so anyways, we can complete the shift right there. Uh, we still made enough money. I would swap out for a new ship at this point. That's just me personally. I would swap out for a new ship. There's not enough there to justify working on that ship anymore. Uh, but we did a good job. We got all of our work orders done, which is really all you're working for. Uh, I just got... I just got... If I could just get that cockpit disassembled, I think we'd be good. But the rest of the ship was going to go to the furnace anyways. Uh, I was trying to get the cockpit off so we could send that to the processor, and then we could send the rest of the furnace. But there's a little seam in there that I'm missing somewhere, and I just got to find out where it is. Uh, my name is Flattercat. This is Hard Space Sh Ship Breaker. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like on the video if you want to see more. We can go further on into the game. Uh, definitely drop on in the Twitch stream because that's where I'll be playing this game the most and I'd love to have you. You can also check out the Discord if you're enjoying the plays. That's where the community hangs out. There's loads of people in there. How you doing? Take care, everybody.